Pierre Luigi Colina is considered the greatest referee in history. The only one to ever feature on a video game cover. He had charisma, intelligence, but also the ability to raise his voice and be heard when he needed to. He might have looked like a cold person, but Colina was fatherlike, equal parts strict and kind. And above all, the Italian was not insensitive to the goings on in matches. And here's the proof. May 26, 1999, Camp Nou, Barcelona. Bayern Munich and Manchester United were going head to head in the Champions League final. Pierre Luigi Colina was already at the peak of his art and was calling the match. A match that would become the most moving and memorable game of the Italian referee's career. But this 44th Champions League final didn't exactly go down in history. It was definitely a memorable night, mainly for the last three minutes. Otherwise, the match was not that great. It was a normal match, if you can say the Champions League final is a normal match. But this match went from the normal to the abnormal. Bayern Munich were leading 1-0 from the sixth minute and saw Teddy Sheringham and then Ole Gunnar Solskjaer come on for the final 10 minutes. A winning decision, no matter how late in the game. In the 90th minute, Pierre Luigi Colina's assistant announced that there would be three minutes of stoppage time. Bayern Munich were three minutes from their dream. A dream that would quickly turn into a nightmare. It was the most dramatic three minutes of my career. Unbelievable. I still watch the DVD. The atmosphere was fantastic. Everything changed in a fraction of a second. Teddy Sheringham equalized. One all. The ball was put back into center. A few seconds later, Sheringham, again, connected with a David Beckham corner, a header that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer put in the back of the net with his foot. Bayern Munich collapsed, literally. This comeback was crushing for the Bayern players. Even Colina didn't recover and went to support the devastated players. The United players were running like madmen all over the pitch. While I saw a Bayern player lying down in tears, hopeless, I went up to him, but I couldn't think of anything else to say other than get up and keep fighting. There's still 20 seconds. But after this goal, the players were heartbroken, in tears. In three minutes, they went from the greatest night of their lives to the worst. Samuel Kufour was one of the most heartbreaking Bayern players about this brutal flipping of the situation. In tears, inconsolable, lying on the pitch. His pain was immense indescribable for anyone who didn't see it. Even years later, this match is just as painful for him. After the game, I was just crying. I have never even watched the game. I don't want to see it. It still gives me pain. I need to let it go, but I'm still holding it in my heart. It's very difficult, and I don't want to watch it. Samuel Kufour's distress, as well as that of the other Bavarians, really moved Pierre Luigi Colina. At that moment, I saw the true face of football where players give their entire lives in a stadium, with people shouting for joy and others hurting right down to their core. That's how football is at the highest level. Hero one night, zero the next, or the opposite. Because Bayern Munich and Q4 picked themselves back up and went on to win the 2001 Champions League. As for Kalina, he continued his refereeing career that he started in the 80s. The other great memory of his career at the game's peak, the 2002 World Cup final between Brazil and Germany that he refereed. But when he was asked about the most emotional, memorable match, it's definitely the 1999 Bayern Munich Manchester United which comes to mind. The Champions League has seen many crazy matches, notably in recent years with comebacks, runs by unexpected clubs, mistakes by the biggest clubs. But a final this emotional, maybe not. This match will forever be the ultimate incarnation of the beauty and the cruelty of this sport which we love so much.